two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles, downrange distance three nautical miles. Engines throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity, 2,900 feet per second. Altitude, 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 7 nautical miles. situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. The picture of the Challenger space shuttle exploding will remain in the national consciousness for so long. But for those who watched the launch and the tragedy from the grandstands at the Cape, the experience and the shock will be indelible. Among those in the grandstand were the parents of teacher Krista McCullough, who chose to watch the launch with students from their daughter's New Hampshire school, actually the classmates of her son, little Scott. And Peter Billingsley was there, the national spokesman for the Young Astronauts Program. And Peter joins us this morning from his hometown of Phoenix and our NBC affiliate there, KPNX-TV. And welcome, Peter. Thank you. Peter, would you explain how it, it came to pass that you were there at the launch yesterday? Well, I was invited as a guest of the Young Astronauts pr Program. I was there to hunt, to host some pre-launch parties, and um, we were waiting for the launch. It was first scheduled for the 22nd, but then it, went, it kept on being moved up, and then finally on that day, we, we saw it. Had you ever seen a launch before? Um, only on the news. This was my first one that I've ever seen up close. So you would have no way of knowing as you watched the clear the tower and, uh, and, 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 and disappear in the sky, as I've seen it do, that something might have gone wrong, or did you sense that something was wrong? Um, it looked all fine. It was going up straight. I thought that everything was great. I guess some people had thought later that it took a slower lift off than it should have, but I didn't really know that because this was my first time. I saw it lift off, then I saw, I saw, I could see the trail going down, then I saw a big round cloud of smoke, which I guess was where it blew up, and I wasn't really sure what that was. I thought that maybe it was the solid rocket boosters leaving because I didn't really know. But then I saw this thing that was twisting and was moving, and at that point, I knew that something was wrong. Well, but, the only, but the only thing was that the people that knew that something was wrong were in so much shock that they didn't scream or anything. They just were silent. What was your first confirmation that, that something had gone terribly wrong? Um, okay, we were all cheering and screaming. Then there was a microphone that was right out in front of us, and we could make out the word malfunction. And with that, everybody started to be quiet. There were still some other people. Then we heard um, the words, the vehicle has exploded. And with that, everybody went into Peter, trauma. Peter, who was there? Um, the parents were there. There were a lot of little kids, yes. much younger than you. Was, was there anybody there to, to look after them? Um, yes, there were. There were some of the, of the kids' mothers that were there. Just everybody was in a huge state of shock. They were all in panic, and it was it was just an awful, awful thing. Now, you were a uh, spokesman for the Young Astronauts Program. Yes, I am. I, did that mean that you wanted to grow up and be an astronaut yourself? 
it doesn't really mean that I want to grow up and be an astronaut. It's just what the Young Astronauts Program is, is it's, um, it's an educational program that's backed by the president and it's geared towards kids from 6 to 16 and it's mainly to prepare them for the 21st for life in the 21st century because with everything growing so fast now that we we want to be ready for that time do you still want to be ready or did the the shock and the trauma yesterday change your mind somehow no i think that even though it's an awful thing like president reagan said we've got to keep going we've got to keep moving with full force I think we should find out what happened wrong and possibly today's young astronauts can possibly make a, a fuel tank that would be less prone to blowing up or could make a possible uh, escape hatch on the shuttle. Do you feel your job as a spokesman for the Young Astronauts Program is all the more important today? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's all the more important. It is probably a little bit more important, but right now we just want to heighten the uh, awareness of people that in this country right now, the academic standards are very low compared to Russia and Germany and J Japan and all these other places. Astronauts have to be pretty brave people, don't they? Yes, yes they do. Well, Peter, thank you for being with us. And I guess we certainly know now that there is uh, absolutely a frontier out there yet to be conquered by your generation. Yes, Thanks, there Peter. is. We'll thank be you. back in a moment.